everybody. Welcome back to the Room of the Ancient Mariner. My name is Mike, and today I've got a contest entry for you. This is a contest entry for uh, John at JC's Rock and Metal Reviews. Uh, he's doing a 300 subscriber contest. Congratulations on achieving that uh, benchmark, John. I look forward to your uh, to your content that you uh, upload on a daily basis, and I really enjoy your channel. So um, I keep pushing for you to get more and more subscribers. All right, so this contest is based on the number three. I've always said three is a perfect number, and why is that? Because it's one more than two and one less than four. It makes it perfect. And uh, the rules are pretty simple. Once you focus on uh, any stretch of three consecutive released albums, so I wanted to also celebrate today, it's April 12th, and according to social media content, uh, today is the birthday of Dee Dee Verney from Overkill. I always said Dee Dee Vernay when I was growing up. I'm really not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Verney, but either way, happy birthday, Dee Dee. You are one of the classic uh, instrumentalists or musicians in, in, in all of uh, heavy metal, and uh, thank you for everything that you've done for the genre. Uh, so... Let's look at this. Uh, I've always thought that uh, when you look at a three album run, uh, this particular three album run from Overkill is one of the finest and uh, most definitive um, uh, stretches in all of heavy metal. And it starts with, uh, this was my introduction to the band with 1987's Taking Over. There's the front, there's the back. I went with, I went with all CDs to show today. Um, this is just a fantastic album. It starts with Deny the Cross, which just grabs you by the throat. This album does not let up until the end. Uh, you, it's followed up by, then we have Wrecking Crew. Uh, you've got classics in here, uh, Fatal of Swallowed, Power Surge, In Union We Stand. Uh, just a fantastic album. The production's amazing. It was on the Megaforce label, Alex Pariolis, uh, and Overkill shared production duties. Uh, Well-produced. Well written, well performed, well executed, uh, a, a perfect example of thrash metal, and it's a solid 10 out of 10 album. That went on to, to be followed up by 1988's Under the Influence. Again, another fantastic album. Everything just great from the artwork to the uh, to the packaging. Um, this one again was produced by Alex Perilous and Overkill on the Megaforce label, and uh, it's got classics such as Shred. Never Say Never, Hello from the Gutter, uh, Brain Fade's a great song, Drunken Wisdom, that's a that's a, a, a knuckle-dragging riff affair uh, with uh, some caveman metal doom-inspired doom riffing. Uh, End of the Line, Head First, what a great, great thrash song Head First is. And then uh, concludes with uh, Overkill 3, um, Under the Influence. Just a fantastic, fantastic album. Um, this lineup was was uh, we we've seen some lineup changes uh, at drums. This the first album uh, Rat Skates was on. This one had Sid Falk, um, but uh, the core the core lineup of Dee Dee Verney, Bobby Gustafson, and um, um, Blitz Ellsworth uh, remained intact uh, dur uh, during this stretch run, and that culminated with what I would arguably say. Um, you can make a case, I wouldn't argue against anyone making the case that uh, 1989's um, The Years of Decay is potentially the best, uh, definitely one of the best, if not the best thrash metal albums of all time. And Overkill just really hit their stride uh, on this release with the opener Time to Kill uh, going into Elimination had, you know, classic punk-infused uh, um, thrashing uh, to I Hate, Nothing to Die For, and then the magnificent, magnificent Skull Crusher, which is another one of those caveman riffing affairs with uh, some real knuckle-dragging uh, guitar work in there. Uh, and then the back half of the album uh, with Birth of Tension, Who Tends the Fire, great, uh, great song. The classic title track, Years of Decay, and uh, it ends with the thrashing affair of Evil Never Dies. Again, production value, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the other two albums sounded great, but um, Terry Date was brought on to produce this album, and Terry Date uh, is by far one of the top metal producers throughout the genre. Anything that's got Terry Dates on it is gonna be is gonna be good. Um, but this album just this was this set the bar, and it, it it was released after Master of Puppets. But uh, this was this was Overkill's crowning achievement. Uh, it, it, this is Overkill's Master of Puppets. Um, 
Uh, the lineup changed, or the, the lineup remained the same uh, from the previous albums. You had Sid, uh, Sid Falk on, on drums. Um, but this would, this would sadly be the final album uh, that Bobby Gustafson would, uh, would perform with Overkill on. And um, even though Overkill has been solid uh, throughout the years, they've, they've been one of the hardest working bands in the genre and all of their albums are good. I enjoy listening to every one of their records, but uh, for me, even, even though Horoscope uh, um, is, is, is kind of up there in, in the category of upper echelon thrash metal records, I feel like that after the years of decay, this, this, this band reached their zenith on this. And uh, even though everything's been consistent over the years, uh, after Gustafson left, there's, to me, there's just been a, a notable difference uh, in the band going forward. And I, I wouldn't categorize the loss of Bobby Gustafson as significant as, say, the, you know, the loss of Cliff, Cliff Burton with Metallica. But, uh, you know, arguably, um, those were the high high water marks for, for both bands, Master of Puppets for Metallica. And then, like I said, this, this is Overkill's Master of Puppets. Um, I again make a solid case that uh, uh, that uh, Years of Decay could be could be uh, uh, ar uh, argued as as one of the finest metal albums ever. It stands right up there with anything the Big Four have ever done. In fact, I, I think Overkill deserves a seat at the table. Overkill's definitely, if if not in that first four, if you wanted to replace, you could replace any of them with Anthra, as far as I'm concerned. I I I I think that pound for pound. Um, I would. I don't know what I would pick between this and Rain and Blood, or Master of Puppets, or um, Among the Living. I mean, all of those albums could be argued as the greatest thrash record ever. But this one stands up to them all. This one stands the test of time. It has everything. It has plenty of diversity. It has dynamic changes. It has uh, um, different. Uh, um, um, lyrical deliveries blitz is fantastic on this album his his uh, vocal deliveries are, are frantic and punky and thrashy and he really shows you know uh for a guy that doesn't have a whole lot of range as far as uh notes and and singing wise you know like a rob halford or a, or a bruce dickinson um uh, blitz proved that he was one of the top front men in all of metal on this record I uh, can't say enough good things about this album, but I do believe, and I've always said that this three album stretch uh, from Overkill is just as good as, if not better than any three album run from any band ever, ever. Uh, you Name any band, Led Zeppelin, Kiss, ACDC, Iron Maiden, uh, Metallica, Anthrax, uh, Slayer, any of them. This three album run, of taking over under the influence and years of decay is I think one of, if not the greatest three album stretch ever. So, um, I think I got it in under 10 minutes. That was the other requirement. So we're done for the day. Happy birthday, DD. Congratulations again, John, on surpassing 300 subscribers. You're on your way to a, to a thousand. Uh, again, I, I look forward to your content, uh, that you post every day and, uh, you know, if I win, um, I think it would be great to, to see you do an overkill ranking. Um, it's a lot of albums to have to listen to because, again, they're one of the hardest working bands in metal. Um, and uh, uh, I, I just, you know, feel like this was such a classic three album stretch that it's, it's very difficult for them to, to replicate the, the greatness that they achieved during this three year run. So uh, that's what I have uh, for now. Um, good luck to everybody else who enters this contest. And again, congratulations, John. Uh, I know you'll, you, you have no problem letting them know that you're metal. Everybody else out there that's listening, make sure you let them know you're metal. Bang your head, throw the goat, and I'll catch you next time.